Welcome to my channel folks. If you have been following me, you know that I am using a lot of serverless functions to automate the day-to-day -day routine jobs. One of those activities is what today we are talking about. I am going to use a serverless lambda function to automate my cleanup of Amazon machine images. Over a period of time, you create a lot of machine images and then they expire or the retention period for them is long gone and you need a way to clean them up automatically. So for that, I written a Lambda function and that will be triggered from my CloudWatch events and they go and look for a particular tag in each of those machine images. Say, for example, delete on date, which is of a particular format. And if that date is corresponding to today's date, those machine images will be deleted. If those dates are not matching, they will be left alone. So these are the prerequisites parameters that we have for our Lambda function. And let us see go how we can set it up in our account. So as usual, we have a couple of prerequisites. As I said, a few machine images with the delete on tag and the value of the format that is given here. Preferably, if it is of today's date, it would be great. And then the second prerequisite is having an IAM role, uh, which can execute Lambda functions on behalf of you. And the policy required for the IAM role is also given here. So if you don't know how to set it up, go ahead and watch my video on how to create an IAM role with a custom policy. So let us move on to the next step that is configuring our Lambda function itself. As usual, as you always know that I have given a couple of configurable parameters. Instead of the delete on tag, you want to have some other tag, go ahead and modify this value in the code. And then if the retention period is something more that you want, or if you don't want to delete it today, or you want to delete it some other day, go ahead and change the retention period tag as well. And finally, let us go ahead and set it up our Lambda function itself. As you can see here, we need to copy this code into the Lambda function so I have uploaded the file in Git. If you open it here and then click on raw, you'll be able to copy the code without any problems. Go to your Lambda dashboard, click on create function, and let us say this is going to be serverless AMI janitor. And remember to change the Python function to 3.6 because that is a, this function has been t written and tested for Python 3.6. And we have already created the role. If you want to know, I just show you quickly. This is the role that we are going to use. And if I go ahead and open the role here and then open the policy and then go ahead and click on JSON. And you can see here the policy is the same as the one that you saw in the GitHub article. So let us go ahead and uh, attach the role. So serverless AMI bot role, click on create function. Now, by the way, upload make code, go ahead and click on the big blue box here, which says serverless AMI janitor, and it says go down. So I'm just going to go down here, and you find the field where you can update the code. So let's go ahead and copy that, paste it here, and scroll down. If you want to change any of the environment parameters, go ahead and give it the same tag value, and it will be picked up and updated there. So I'm not going to change anything here. Execution role is already there. And I'm going to make it as two minutes. Probably it will take less time. If there is more images in your account, you need to increase it appropriately. So let me go ahead and click on save. The final step is configuring the CloudWatch triggers. So that is the final step. We have done our copying the Lambda functions. Second step is configure the Lambda triggers. So let us go ahead and set that up now. And to do that, let me go back. And here, this is where we need to do that. So I'm just going to choose CloudWatch events from here and then click on configuration, scroll down, and I'm going to say create a new role, which is going to be something like, I'm going to create a new rule, serverless janitor for AMI rule. And then this, that is going to be my description as well. And I'm going to have a schedule expression of having it run once per day and I'm going to click on save. So now I've added it. Before I go ahead and click on save, which will trigger the Lambda function, let me go ahead and show you my EC2 dashboard where I have the machine images. So currently there are four images in my account. You can see here I have filtered based on the delete on tag and all values. And you can see here four of them are there and one of them is for schedule for deletion from 30 days from now. And if I go back to my uh, EC2 snapshots, you can see here there are five snapshots 
for four images. The reason for that is one of the server is having two disks attached to it and that is why we have five snapshots here. So let me go ahead and save my lambda function and that should it trigger my lambda function as well for the first time. So let me go over to the monitoring section and there we go. We have an invocation and preferably it should have completed as well. So I'm just going to go over to my EC2 console and going to refresh my screen. And you can see here out of the four machine images, only one of them, which is scheduled for next month deletion is left out and all the other machine images have been automatically deregistered. Likewise, let me go back to my snapshot console. That should be only one snapshot here. There we go. There's only one snapshot that is corresponding to the same machine image and rest of them has been automatically deleted. So that is how you set up a Lambda function to clean up your account to delete old images which are past the expiry date. If you have any problems in setting it up, put in the comment section. I'm happy to help you with that. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.